Hi, Mr. Cedric Flowers. You were appointed by the Central Bank of Belize to be the liquidator for Choice Bank Limited. Tell me of your experience in this area. I am a certified public accountant with over 25 years in practice. Uh, prior to my appointment as a liquidator for Choice Bank Limited, I had been previously appointed at least 14 times as receiver, liquidator for various entities. All my appointments have been different and they all come with different challenges. However, the common thread in all these appointments is that we have a huge responsibility to the stakeholders, whoever they may be in these circumstances, and we also have a responsibility to carry out our duties in a most professional manner and doing so in accordance with the appropriate laws and provisions. So can you tell us why Choice Bank Limited was placed in liquidation? The Central Bank of Belize took the decision to place Choice Bank in liquidation as a consequence of the revocation of its banking license. You may visit the Central Bank's website and view the release made by the Central Bank or directly contact the Central Bank of Belize. So what then is the focus of the liquidation process? The responsibility of the liquidator is to efficiently wind up the affairs of Choice Bank Limited. Our focus is then to do so in a timely manner and in accordance with the provisions of the law. During the liquidation process, what is the role of the Central Bank of Belize? The central bank by law has oversight and responsibility of the liquidation process. The liquidator reports to the central bank on a monthly basis. Additionally, the liquidator is in contact with the central bank, provides frequent updates to the central bank and is in consultation with the central bank on matters pertaining to the liquidation process. And I know that there will be many clients wanting their funds. Could you tell us, um, you know, enlighten us of that process? There is a process for claims established uh, by the liquidation team. The, firstly, uh, we have forms and we have guidelines and we have instructions. Those are all available on the liquidator's website uh, to be downloaded and completed. There is a time frame by which all this must be done and the deadline for doing so was October 29. 2018. With that being said, so in your expertise and, and you know with Choice Bank being um, liquidated, how long will this process be? The, the process is set out by law. Uh, the liquidator has 90 days after the close of the uh, period for submitting claims by which the liquidator must, must decide on the validity of those claims. Now, the earliest date by which at least a partial payment can be made would be March 1st, 2019. And remember, that allows for provisions in the law such as publication of the list, uh, there's a period for appeal uh, for claimants and some other provisions that would cause the timeline to move to that point, March 1st, 2019.